back to the Jungmeister build and what I have here I have to make a headrest and a forward buffer for the Jungmeister and after some humming and hawing I'm going to a method that I, I used on the SE5 and there is I've carved some blue foam it's the high density but very lightweight foam that's used in insulation, uh, particularly for underflow insulation in the UK. You can cut it easily and you can also sand it to shape and that is the forward buffer for the cockpit area. And in Blue Peter style, here's one I've done earlier. This is the head rest with the gap for the safety seat belts that go through there into an attachment. Carved it out of blue foam, sanded it to shape, and I've covered it in some scrap Solitex. And when I've finished the buffer, I'm going to paint that up to simulate uh, brown leather. Although on some of the young meisters, I've seen that it's in black, but I just think it'll stand out better in a in a leather uh, brown colour. So I'll show you the painting stage when I get there. But the first stage is to simply cover this with the solar text. I thought it might react to the foam with the heat, but actually there's no problem at all. So here we go. Cut a piece excess size. There we go. Cut to size. And now what I'll do is I'll simply attach this leaving the overhang I'm more concerned about the upper part than the lower so if the bottom goes astray and goes wrong it doesn't matter too much the upper side's the one I want to look nice and neat so applying some heat here getting it stuck on there you go and if anybody's ever used solar text before you can pull it and work it, just curve it over nice and gently. And the trick is to leave plenty of excess so that you can actually pull on it, as I'm doing here. You get sort of asbestos fingers eventually working with this stuff. It's easier to work than solar film. I find personally it's more it's got more of a range between stretching and shrinking and burning so there it is folding it over curving it over now eventually this excess material actually does become a problem and then you have to resort to Move this out the way, otherwise I'll end up heating that. Pulling it round. There you go, it's still going round. Then you have to cut it when it gets to the point that the excess is creating a problem. It doesn't matter if it puckers a little bit because the leather, I'm sure, would be worked in a similar way. So I'll carry on with this. I'll pause it here. And then I'll show you uh, how it comes on when I actually add the paint and the colour and install it. I thought it would be worth showing this stage. Obviously it gets to the point where you can't stretch it anymore. And then all I do is I'm crimping around, making small incisions, which I'll then use to help me turn it round. There you go, starting to come to fruition. This is obviously the most difficult part to do. We'll see how it goes. So, solar text, solar film added, solar text rather. Time to 
had a base coat. Now this is actually described as leather in colour. Whether it is or not is a different matter. But I will add inks and stains to vary the tone. But the first stage in the process is simply to get the base colour on. You don't have to be particularly fussy about this. In fact, the more texture you put into it, the better it is. But straight away, the brown is clearly better than the beige, which while it might look great on a SE5 under, under wing, doesn't look good for a headrest. But there you go. We're starting to get a bit of base colour there to it, which I like. It's all about just having an eye for colour. I must admit, um, I have dabbled in art in the past and it sort of helps when you can understand why colours behave in a certain way and the tricks that light plays on your eyes um, helps you when it comes to colour selection, what you're trying to achieve. So I'll carry on with that. Get both the front buffer and the headrest painted and then I'll add a little bit of texture to it and I'll show you what that looks like and then finally we'll put it into the cockpit itself. I have to make an insert for there but I'll do that afterwards and glue it in when it's completed. You can see as this dries it becomes very dead. Now leather has a little bit of a sheen in it so subsequent layers will try to add at least a satin effect to make it look more realistic. Now that that first coat of paint, the background paint, has dried, you can see it's gone very flat and dull, which obviously isn't very leather-like. So what I'm going to do now is use some ink, which will have two effects. Firstly, it will deepen the tone, but secondly, it will add a little bit more variety because it's a much thinner medium it will pool to a certain extent in some of the creases and crevices and I hope that that will add to the feel that this is leather rather than a, a fabric covering so you can see straight away that when it's got a bit of a sheen on it, it looks much better and if this thing doesn't leave the sheen behind it may to a certain extent I'm going to add a satin varnish to it to give that leather look. That's the aperture that the seat belts go into. Oh, there's no way around it, you've got to get ink on your hands. There you go, that's that done. And that's what I was looking for the knife to stick onto it. There you go. Front buffer being done. Flooding the ink on here and letting it flow. And straight away, I think that looks better, a bit more depth to it. And you can see there that. The ink is going into the creases. I hope you can see that. It's going into the creases and that adds to the realism, I think. The only problem with the ink is it takes quite a bit longer to dry than the other medium. But there you go. Headrest starting to come to shape. Next stage, perhaps, see how this goes, I'll be adding it onto the plane and seeing what it looks like. There you go, the finished product. And I hope you'll agree that does look like the leather padding that I intended it to be. Obviously, it needs a crew member now, a pilot, 
and the interior needs a little bit of detailing adding I think perhaps a bit of colour but overall I think that's achieved what I wanted it to.